Hello aspirants, this is Kshama and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Learn with Kshama. In this video, we will go through anthropology syllabus of paper 2. If you have not watched my video for syllabus of paper 1, please watch it. See my description box for the link. So let's start with paper 2. 1.1 Evolution of the Indian Culture and Civilization Prehistoric Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic and Neolithic Chalcolithic Protohistoric Indus Civilization Pre-Harappan, Harappan and Post-Harappan Cultures Contribution of Tribal Cultures to Indian Civilization 1.2 Paleo-Anthropological Evidence from India with sub special reference to Shivaliks and Narmada Basins Ramapithecus, Shivapithecus and Narmada Man 1.3 Ethno-Archaeology in India The concept of Ethno-Archaeology Survivals and Parallels among the hunting, foraging, fishing, pastoral and peasant communities including arts and crafts producing communities 2. Demographic Profile of India Ethnic and Linguistic Elements in the Indian Population and their distribution. Indian population factors influencing its structure and growth. 3.1 The structure and nature of traditional Indian social system Varnashram, Purushartha, Karma, Rina and Rebirth. 3.2 Caste system in India Structure and characteristics Varna and caste Theories of origin of caste system Dominant caste, caste mobility, future of caste system, Jajmani system, tribe caste continuum. 3.3 Sacred complex and nature man spirit complex. 3.4 Impact of Buddhism, Jainism, Islam and Christianity on Indian society. 4th Emergence and growth of anthropology in India, contributions of 18th, 19th and early 20th century, scholar administrators, Contributions of Indian Anthropologists to Tribal and Caste Studies 5.1 Indian Village Significance of Village Study in India Indian Village as a Social System Traditional and Changing Patterns of Settlements and Inter-Caste Relations Agrarian Relations in Indian Village Impact of Globalization on Indian Villages 5.2 Linguistic and Religious Minorities and their Social, Political and Economic Status 5.3 Indigenous and Exogenous Processes of Socio-Cultural Change in Indian Society Sanskritization, Westernization, Modernization, Interplay of Little and Great Traditions, Panchayati Raj and Social Change, Media and Social Change 6.1 Tribal situation in India, biogenetic variability, linguistic and socio-economic characteristics of tribal population and their distribution. 6.2 Problems of the tribal communities, land, alienation, poverty, indebtedness, low literacy, poor educational facilities, unemployment, underemployment, health and nutrition. 6.3 Developmental projects and their impact on tribal displacement and problems of rehabilitation, development of forest policy and tribals, impact of urbanization and industrialization on tribal populations. 7.1 Problems of exploitation and deprivation of scheduled caste, scheduled tribes and other backward classes, constitutional safeguards for scheduled tribes and scheduled caste. 7.2 Social change and contemporary tribal societies, impact of modern democratic institutions, development programs and welfare measures on tribals and weaker sections. 7.3 The concept of ethnicity, ethnic conflicts and political developments, unrest among tribal communities, regionalism and demand for autonomy, pseudo-tribalism, Social change among the tribes during colonial and post-independent India. 8.1 Impact of Hinduism, Buddhism, 
Christianity, Islam and other religions on tribal societies. 8.2 Tribe and Nation State, a comparative study of tribal communities in India and other countries. 9.1 History of administrations of tribal areas, tribal policies, plans, programs of tribal development and their implementation, the concept of PTGs, primitive tribal groups and their distribution, special programs for their development, role of NGOs in tribal development. 9.2 Role of Anthropology in Tribal and Rural Development 9.3 Contributions of Anthropology to the Understanding of Regionalism, Communalism and Ethnic and Political Movements This was all about paper to syllabus for Anthropology. Please write it down or take out a printout of the syllabus for both general studies as well as for optional. I have given the PDF link of my handwritten syllabus in the description box. Please check it. In my next video, we will see the books to be referred for anthropology and each topic of syllabus will be discussed with questions asked in the exam. Direct questions are asked from the syllabus as right note on any topic will be given directly from the syllabus. So read the syllabus carefully. I hope now you have a good understanding of the syllabus. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and motivated. Thank you for watching.